Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been meaning to make this video for about a year now. Ever since I posted my room makeover video, I wanted to make a separate video on how I keep my room organized because without a system, it'll just be disgusting. And I just wanted to show you a few tips and tricks on how I keep my room organized. Growing up, I was always very annoyed when I couldn't find things. And back when I used to have my old room, I used to have things in a general vicinity, but not in very specific places. And I would end up throwing things in random drawers and just putting things in places they're not supposed to be so when I made my new room that was like a main thing I had in my mind of how do I keep this organized how can I create a system that is super useful for me because the goal of this is to get it to a point where you never have to clean up your room you just have to put everything back once you use it and it doesn't collect clutter so you never have to clean up your room and it's way easier said than done it took me a couple months to actually get used to how I organized everything and getting that discipline to like put it back because I know I get very exhausted and I don't want to put things back I hope you guys can get something from this video to help you out a little bit because it's life-changing it really is so I wanted to start off with something that is actually very helpful at least for me personally and it's putting things in point of performance let's say for example right after you put your deodorant and your perfume in the morning you always do your makeup afterwards or you always brush your hair and then do your makeup make sure that you put all of these things together this means you're putting on your deodorant in the morning and then right next to your deodorant is your vanity where you have your makeup coordinating things in the order where you use them is super helpful so for example for me I edit on my computer and right next to my computer in my desk I have a little drawer with a clear container that is labeled editing and I have like a bunch of hard drives and adapters in there that I use to connect to my computer so that I can edit so I don't have to go around the room scavenging for like little adapters so that I can edit it's happened to me before so I just wanted to make a clear container dedicated for just like editing stuff for example before I even got my new room the place for my keys used to just be on top of my desk like it didn't have a specific place if it was on top of my desk it was where it was supposed to be I don't know what I was thinking because it would always fall on the floor or it would always be in the way of like my mouse or when I would put something on my desk it would be in the way so one thing I did want to put in my room was the hook hanger and once I put that it saved my life I usually walk into my room after school and just hang my keys having things in point of performance once you walk in or even having things in very specific places is really helpful so yeah just think of like things Things that you use just put them together in either one cabinet or cabinets that are close to each other make sure you have like a dedicated part of the cabinet that's for that so like oh in this corner I put my deodorant and in this corner I put my perfume etc etc I know it might seem a little tedious and kind of annoying but the moment you know where every little specific thing goes it's a lifesaver which brings me to my next point have a dedicated place for everything like I said I know it might seem annoying but putting something in a specific place makes it kind of fun to put it away afterwards because you know exactly where it is you don't have to just throw it in a drawer it actually makes it a lot easier to clean up afterwards and cleaning up your room and you have like a bunch of things on the floor and on the bed and if you have a specific place for everything it's gonna be super easy to clean up and it's gonna be almost like second nature because you know where everything goes rather than having to hang up a bunch of clothes you don't know exactly where they go or you have a general idea where they go in the closet but you have to like rearrange a bunch of hangers because you put like tank tops together with like long sleeves and it just takes up more time at the end of the day but if you know where everything goes it's super easy to clean up and you don't really have to think about it as much it just gives you more of a drive to put it away because you spent so much time planning a specific place for it that putting it away back to where it goes is kind of satisfying I mean at least for me I feel like it's super satisfying speaking about putting things very specifically make sure that you label everything with clear containers so I know it might seem a little picky for me to say clear containers but you can use whatever containers you have but if you're gonna go out to buy containers I recommend just buying like really cheap like you can find them at the dollar store like really cheap clear containers that you can just put whatever you can in there because if it's clear you can see through it and you can see if something is missing it makes it a lot easier to put away because you don't have to hover over it to like see where everything goes you just kind of know oh I can see that lipsticks go in there so I can just put it in there it just makes it that much easier 
easier to put it away. And also to get something because if you're in a hurry and you're trying to look for something, if you can see through a container and you find whatever you find, then it saves you seconds of your day. So the other half of this is to label things. So for the same reason as clear containers, it's a lot easier to see when things are labeled. You know exactly where they go. In my opinion, I feel like it looks really aesthetic and really satisfying when I label things. Labeling things, especially at the beginning when you had just finished organizing everything, you might forget where you put certain things and if you label it, it's just a lot easier to find it. Especially when you have like a bunch of mini containers for like separate specific things for something like paper clips or push pins or binder clips, just any little specific stuff like that. When you label it at first, it's really amazing. So I recommend clear containers labeling them. You can buy like a really cheap label maker for like 15 bucks at Target and just like label everything because like the electric labelers are a little bit expensive for what they do. So unless you have one, manual ones are pretty cheap and they stick on pretty well. So I recommend those. I forgot to mention this, but you can literally just get like a white sticker and just label it in Sharpie. For this next one, I know you're going to be really annoyed at me and I know it's way easier said than done. I'm going to sound like a mom right now. If you have something in your hand, put it away. It's literally in your hand. I didn't really do this as a kid, but starting middle school and high school, I realized like how valuable it was. If you take off your clothes, it's literally in your hand. Just put it away in the hamper and you never have to deal with it again. I know people hate me right now because it's just such a big habit to like take off your clothes and like toss it aside, but you're going to have to bend down and pick it up anyways. And it's already in your hand. So you never have to bend down to pick it up ever. You just put it away. Even though you're in a hurry, it's really a lifesaver. Okay. The camera hates me too, because it died. <laughs> Even if you have trash in your hands, just throw it away at that moment. You're going to have to eventually pick it up from the floor or the bed or the desk and throw it away anyways. So it just saves you a lot of time. And also the idea here is that you never have to clean up anything because you always put everything away once you use it. Um, okay. So my next tip is to always make sure your clutter is in motion. This means that all the stuff that you have out of place in your room is out of place for a reason. Some level of clutter is normal. We're all human beings. We have some level of clutter in our room, but always having a general awareness that everything that's out is something that you're using right now or that you've used the past couple of hours or are gonna use in the next couple of hours. This really avoids just keeping things out of their place for like several days. It happens. It still happens to me. We're all human beings. It's okay. Like I leave my iced coffee for like two days on my desk. I'm like, what am I doing? I should put this away. <laughs> so just making sure that everything that's out you're using like pens, pencils, a notebook. Whenever you're studying, clutter is inevitable. It's gonna happen, but make sure that everything that you use is for the here and right now. And then once I'm done, I put everything back in its very specific organized place so that I never lose it. I think this is also stemming from like a fear of me starting to form some sort of natural clutter just because I'm using a few things specifically, like if I'm doing my makeup or if I'm studying and I have a bunch of papers out to turning into a huge mess because I don't end up putting things back. Once there's clutter and a day passes by and I don't put it back, it's going to be very tempting for me to keep building up on that clutter and never putting things back. And then I'll have to get to a point where I have to clean up my room because I don't want that to happen. I feel like I'm always very conscious of, oh, I'm done using this. Okay, let me put it back because if I leave it here, I'm going to be tempted to then put another cup next to it and then another cup next to it and then a pencil next to that and then a scissor. And then I just don't put all those stuff away. Oh, well, there's already clutter. Let me put more of it. Hi. Okay. So I forgot to mention that if you ever are in a hurry and don't have time to like clean up the clutter that you just made but you still want your room to look at least clean for the couple of hours you're not going to be home or whatever just have a designated place for everything that is like the put away later place so it can literally just be convenience you can put it under your bed or you can put it sometimes i put it on this chair and i just push in the desk and then i'll just deal with it later but just having a place where you put everything just in case you don't have time to pick it up so yeah i just wanted to say that because we obviously you don't have time to always clean up everything so always having something to have it tucked away is a good idea just make sure you clean it up afterwards <laughs> it's a little hard coming back and being exhausted and not, not wanting to clean it up but yeah i just want to say that because i feel like it's helped me out a lot and it makes me feel like it's less cluttered or if like people are coming over and i just stow it away someplace and then i'll just pick it up later so yeah i'm sure you guys have probably done this anyways so just wanted to put it in there anyways these are the five tips that have really helped me keep my my room clean and organized. There are obviously points in time where my room
room is messy but I feel like having these guidelines like in my head have really helped me not make it worse for me if I have a very messy room I feel like I can't concentrate I feel like I can't do things right if my room is cluttered my mind is cluttered and I need to have some sort of system because I will drive myself crazy so if you guys are having any trouble keeping your room organized hopefully at least one of these tips helped you if you're excited to implement any of these tips please leave it in the comments below I really want to hear your story and how you're trying to get rid of some habits I would love to hear because this definitely took me quite a long time this is definitely not like an overnight thing also if you have any more tips on how to keep your room clean love to hear some new things so that I can implement more things into my life I would love to hear and yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please like this video because that's how you let me know subscribe for more videos like these and hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time I post I post every single Sunday and I'll see you guys in my next one bye